In the heart of a majestic Spanish mountain range, there once lived a remarkable man named Juan Torres. A dedicated doctor, Juan devoted his life to aiding those afflicted with addiction and abuse. His commitment was so profound that he even took patients into his own home, caring for them with unwavering dedication day and night. He lived in a beautiful manor located on a mountainside, surrounded by lush vegetation and exquisite artworks. Constructed in the late 1800s by the Torres family, this grand estate served as a testament to their immense wealth and a symbol to their influential status in the region. This family was even part of nobility. Juan shared his magnificent home with his beloved wife Maria and their son José. Raised within the lavish walls of the manor, José lived a life of luxury, a lifestyle that eventually led him down a criminal path. Tragically, nearly two decades ago, his life took a darker turn when he lost both of his parents. Unfortunately, José's ride to his inheritance was clouded by a series of criminal allegations that entangled him in a web of legal battles, preventing him from claiming his ancestral home. Today, the once Grand Torres Manor stands abandoned, its secrets and stories hidden behind a wall of mystery. Join us as we embark on a journey throughout this captivating manner and show you the life of the Torres family. Welcome back everybody to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie, like usual behind the camera, Mr. Danny. Hello, hello everyone. And we are today again with a video from Spain and actually a video that we already filmed before, the medical house. But this time we're gonna do it better because we found out more things about the house, more history, and also we forgot to show you an entire part of this place. And of course, it's gonna be better because Danny is behind the camera today <laughs> thank you, thank you, filming man. this place. So, Danny, the first thing that we missed last time while filming this place is actually showing the gardens because the owner, Juan Torres, had an amazing property and he, he had, literally flaunted his wealth. Yeah, he had a huge garden. Like the first time that I came here was during the night, I couldn't see this. But yeah. now that we are seeing all of the garden he had, like it's, for example, behind you is a railing from a stairs to lead somewhere. The stairway that goes all the way down to the village over there. It's like maybe a kilometer it goes down. And this was just his walkway towards his gate yeah. to go out of his property. His property was absolutely massive. Like every single way that you look was Mr. Juan Torres, his property. It's such a beautiful and lush place. I absolutely adore it. And it has now been overgrown for some yeah, time. Yeah, very, very overgrown. Two decades ago, Mr. Juan Torres passed away, left the property to his son. And since that time period, everything has been starting to overgrow. I think this was the centerpiece of the garden. Oh yeah. Here he built this beautiful fountain. You can see the pink colors, the pink colored flowers are still on there. Let's see if we can go a little bit closer to it. Yeah, it's safe. You can come over here. Yeah. Look at the fountain itself. Beautiful red with pink and white. It must have been wonderful when it was spotting water. Yeah. The nice summer day, sitting out here. And also these trees around it. They are massive. And quite mythical to me as well. Yeah. The, the shape of the trees, right? Yeah, exactly.
you just gotta have a look at this one right next to me here. It looks like a witch with her long nails yeah, reaching yeah. up into the sky. These trees are <laughs> crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. When this family still lived here, they probably came out here in the summer, sat on these benches, loved the nature, loved to sit here. Ooh. Now everything has been taken over. Oh, I must say that I love yeah. the ambient sound. You Beautiful. hear the birds chirping, you hear the water flowing. You hear everything, the wind rushing through yeah. the trees. You hear a little bit of the highway, but let's ignore that. Yeah. But the birds are like... I think that highway was constructed after he got to live oh, here. for sure. Because this, this building is quite old. I believe it's like late 1800s at least. But I'm not exactly sure about the age of, uh, of the building that we see over there, of the mansion. We are approaching spring right now. The flowers are starting to bloom, making this garden like it used to be. And have a look at this walkway up here, those stairs that lead to the mansion itself. Aren't they just magnificent, Danny? Yeah. I imagine that there used to be a statue in between here, but that's just my vision about it. <laughs> okay. And here we get our first glimpse of the house itself in all its glory. The first time I came here, it was a lush summer day, but now we are end of winter, a rainy day, a mythical day, I would say. Yeah, makes this place mythical, yeah. yeah. And the garden has also overgrown way more since three years ago. Yeah, I can... Ooh. Ooh, watch out. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to get the camera wet. Right next to here, have you seen this palm tree to the left side of you? It's massive. Oh my God. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> oh my God. It you looks to, insane on camera. You have to point the camera all the way upwards. Oh God. It's a different type of property. I've, yeah, like it's unlike the things we see in other countries and yeah, unlike the things we also saw in Spain before. It's beautiful though. Ooh. I hear water running. Yeah. One thing I wanted to point out here on the side of the building, Danny, before we go any further, I noticed that there was also a weapons crest on the side of the building. That mostly means a, that... a family crest, not a weapons. Exactly, yeah, sorry. Uh, a family crest, so that means that the people came from certain nobility. And uh, yeah, they had yeah. money, they had nobility, they had... That was definitely part of these people's heritage. Yeah, true, true. I also love the sides of the building with the woodwork over there. I don't know if you can see it properly on the camera, but it's quite spectacular. Yeah, and here we come into the other side of that lush garden. The palm trees and like you said before, the water running over there. Let's go have a look at it. So peaceful in here, so quiet. It's a whole different experience while exploring. Yeah. I hear a small fountain, yeah, it's over there. Oh, it looks like a natural spring, Danny. Wow, yeah, it definitely is. It's like a small waterfall. Wow. Isn't that just so cute? This is probably also what filled up the fountain at some point. Oh yeah, most likely. But it's not been connected anymore. Small stream of water running down. I mean, if you have free water, why not use it for your fountain? Absolutely. Just wanna... You can wanna touch it? Yeah.
Probably tastes like dirt. Yeah, but that's it's natural. <laughs> it's natural. It's good for you. <laughs> it's actually pretty nice. Yeah, but that comes from up there, so it's probably a lot of dirt in the water. Mm. It's actually pretty good. Should make uh, some water bottles out of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see the back side of the garden. That palm tree casually standing in the middle there. Is it actually a native species of Portugal? Uh, or Spain? We are in Spain. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but not really. I, I don't want to say something, but I, I don't know. You don't know. I, I don't think it's natural, but yeah. yeah, we have it a lot in Portugal and Spain. We just yeah, brought it, see it a lot. from Brazil. Oh. Yeah. So I think this used to be the driveway of the house over here. Now it's of course completely overgrown, but she came down from the street over there and he would drive his car all the way up here. And over there you see those dilapidated buildings in the back. Yeah. You can go a little bit closer to show those as well. But here there are some uh, buildings that are totally falling apart. But these were most likely the garages of the house where all the fancy cars and at first the horse carriages would be stored. And here you can also get a beautiful glimpse if you turn around from the house up here. Wow. <laughs> that was so, synchronized. Yeah, that was very synchronized. That's, I love it. that's so beautiful on the camera. You can also see oh. on top of the roof, the, vi the vines or the vines no, are growing? Uh, no, uh, we, have, we call it varens in Dutch. Uh, but I fed, done, yeah. Uh, feed it? No. I don't, no. I don't know the name. Plants are growing yeah. on the roof, everybody. <laughs> and I see also down here there's another small little fountain or water reservoir there in the middle. Wow. These are some magnificent gardens. And so peaceful. Yeah. I'm so excited to see the inside. I just. I'm so sad that this building is like this in this state because it could be such a beautiful home for a family and they're doing nothing with it. And that's just disgraceful. Careful going in. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it looks definitely more uh, overthrown than last time that we were here. It's a lot of furniture thrown in here. But this used to be the kitchen of the household. To my opinion, a very small kitchen and such extravagant house. Whew. Okay, let's go in. Uh, Be careful. Let's not focus too much on this ugly yeah. kitchen. Let's go further into the house first. Would you like to show the basement as well, Danny? I mean, I mean we can quickly go through it, right? Yeah, quickly. we can. We can show it. There's a lot of newspapers everywhere. Yeah, this floor is covered in them. Yeah, it's like junk everywhere. But this house has also a complete basement, as you can see. Oh, this basement is old. Yeah. This building in general, I would like to know how, what the age of the building is. But uh, we haven't figured that out completely yet. Some benches from the outside of the house left here. Some bicycles from the children that used to live in this place. Here's a big one, presumably from Juan Torres or his wife or his son. Who knows? Not much to show in here. Maybe to this side, let's have a look here. Even more bicycles. These people are definitely into cycling. <laughs> they could be Dutch. <laughs> no, not much. Yeah, not much. Let's go up. No, that was definitely not much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but oh. <laughs> just, it's very low. Yeah. Oh my oh, gosh. It's underneath the stairs, that's why. Oh yeah. But the basement was not much, but now we're going to show you the most beautiful parts of this house. First and foremost, the hallway that we end up in here was where they welcomed the guests inside of the house. You think people would randomly come to this house? No, I, I really think you need a no. description to even find this place here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. 
Yeah, this was the front door, I think, of the house where the guests would be let into the place. Beautiful, big front door. I also love the tile work that we have here on the side. Pretty typical. Beautiful how that made it here with the woodwork around it. A bench, very common to see in these rich places that they have benches to seat their guests, to give them a drink while they waited. Up there, we have this beautiful upholstery. And it looks like some sort of a medieval bar or some sort. It's beautiful how they're sitting there. Traditional outfits. Have you seen this one already, Danny? Yeah. Wow. It's the first thing that I saw when I got in. Yeah. An incredible lantern hanging here in the hallway. And the power cord comes straight out of the mouth of that sculpture over there in the ceiling. Oh yeah. <sighs> That's crazy. Those crown I, molding up there. I love the detail on this. Yeah, you can even see faces and everything yeah, in there. Vases, flowers. Faces, faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Wonderful. They had this tile work with woodwork all around this hallway here. A couple of pictures hanging here. I don't know these places. I'm not familiar with them. They, oh no, this looks like Sagrada Familia. No, 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 no. Uh, no. Uh, sorry, no, sorry. Santiago Compostela. I think, but I'm not 100% no sure. Idea. Sagrada Familia, definitely, definitely not. not. Definitely, definitely not. not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Want to show this room first? Yeah, that's good. Before we show the main attraction? Yeah. Okay. This was most definitely the dining space of the house. Yeah. Here the family had dinner together. Massive table. Lots of people could be seated around here. Last time I was in this place, there also used to hang a chandelier from the ceiling here, but it's gone. I don't know where it went. So one more thing, if you want to see the comparison of this house from now and when I filmed it with my brother three years ago, definitely click up here and go check out that video because there are some things that changed, but now you're also going to see more details. Yeah, places change. It's been three years. Yeah. Not only vandals have come through here, but also explorers. That's why sometimes it looks different because people some people set things up for that set photo. Up. Yeah. 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 Fireplace down here. Must have been lovely when it was still burning and everybody was sitting here in this place. Really cool atmosphere. Oh, some handwritten letters as well. What do we have here? It's all written in Spanish. I don't understand. And Danny also has probably difficulty with that. Especially with cursive. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. 1991, I think it says over here. Whew, this looks like uh, some sort of a document uh, for, yeah, a medical document of some sort. I'm not sure though. More paintings hanging on the wall. Again, such a depiction of medieval times. Or no, no not medieval times. I think like 18, 1700s. Wow. <laughs> Painting of fruit up there. Silent life. You call it silent life? Yeah, we call it silent life in Dutch. Dead nature. Dead nature? Yeah, that's how that painting is called. Uh, paintings like that, that have just fruit or just something painting, yeah. it's called dead nature. In Dutch, we call it still leven, which is literally translated to silent life. I, I don't like the dead nature. <laughs> it's the yeah. name. Yeah, it's the name, yeah, yeah. And here we got a pretty, oh, this is the exact same one as we saw in the hallway, right? Oh, probably, yeah. yeah. They probably got them as a set or something, two for one. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you said that this was, upholstery and this is just a tapestry a tapestry excuse a me a tapestry on a frame yeah which is like incredible i love the frame itself as well incredible it pops yeah. out this tapestry it's beautiful and then we have a sort of tea area or coffee area over here in the corner you could after your meal could sit and enjoy i love this small cat small little cat <laughs> <laughs> that's cute Oh, I thought it was a rocking chair, but it's actually one of those woven chairs. 
Here we got another one of the that nature, but this is literally that nature because we can see dead birds or dead pheasants yeah. lying there, ready to be cooked. Beautiful one though as well. And then a small display cabinet. Love the carvings that we have in here. Absolutely beautiful. Where is the plate from? I think from Portugal. Mm. Made in, printed in Holland, but made, made in, in Spain. Spain. Oh, okay. Collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> and then some more chairs. Oh, we haven't looked at the chairs yet. So no, quite ordinary. Just, just yeah, just a normal chair. chair. Yeah, it's just a normal chair. Okay. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Some more. What is over here? I have to look at this one. Because I'm, I'm quite sure it's uh, Santiago Compostela. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. I'm gonna show Danny Santiago Compostela in a couple of days from now. And it's gonna be his first time visiting that holy place because it's, it's something that defines Spain. And uh, you've not seen it before, yeah. right? No, no, so, no. Yeah. yeah. I haven't completely shown this hallway yet, but it's like a complete mess. There are all these papers lying over the floor. And these are all just old, yeah, letters that have been sent to the former owner of this place. Juan Torres. <laughs> this one looks pretty cool over here. It's completely handwritten. I see over here that it's from 86, but I'm not sure. It says over there, completely cursive letter, written in Spanish. Probably again, also something medical. Rehabilitation, it says over here. So yeah, definitely something from his medical field. And that, that's something we're gonna see a lot throughout this place because Juan Torres was a medic and uh, it shows throughout his house. Show these couple ones over here. Love that one up there, an old town. Wow, really beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Santiago Compostela. Yeah, that's the front side of it. It's nice. absolutely incredible. But now everybody, brace yourselves because we're gonna show you the most beautiful room of this entire household. Danny, you may enter inside and show this beauty to everybody. This is by far one of the most unique living spaces I've seen in an abandoned house, especially in Spain. Yeah. And it's absolutely incredible how it's designed and it must have been, it must have been very proud of this room. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Let's go through it. Let's show everything, every single detail on these beautiful pieces of furniture that have probably been hand carved. We've got a marble top above there. Here we got some sort of a a corner bench, a sitting area, but you're probably wondering what's this piece lying on top of here? And this yeah. is actually, I'm gonna show it to you. I'll place it back later. But this probably fell down from up here. You can see that's the curtain holder. Yeah. It's quite heavy as well. Beautifully designed, gold plated, absolutely insane piece. It was already falling down back in the day, so yeah. it probably and a little fell down. Last time I filmed it was barely hanging on there. Yeah. And now it just it just ripped. And probably somebody placed it over there. Here's even another piece of it. Of those roses that define that piece. I'm gonna place it all together. Probably never gonna be repaired anymore, but yeah, that's just the way it is. It looks like it's a very big spider over there on the wall, Danny. Yeah. You think uh, it's real? No, I don't think it's real. I mean, it's not moving. No, it's not real. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not scared. It looks, it looks real, but it's not real. Okay, no. No, it's definitely not I'm real. I'm still hesitant to touch it. No, it's not real. It's plastic. Just hanging on a hook. Somebody wanted to play a joke. I'm just gonna place it here for the next person to find. <laughs> <laughs> Another painting or picture of a beautiful dance 
a ball going on. Also, quite like the wallpaper on here. Yeah. Flowers and uh, the house was a bit about it was about nature as well because he probably bought this because it was in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a foresty area, and then he put flowers everywhere outside, inside. Yeah. Look at these chandeliers. That is something else. It is. The it crystals is. hanging from the ceiling. Also got to show the crown molding up there. Quite fascinating. And then we come to the centerpiece of this living space, of this living room. And here we have the tables and the chairs. But they all come as a very unique set of upholstery chairs. Have a look at those. They, to me, they belong in a castle or something. Yeah. Or a big palace. Yeah, they are gorgeous. They're yeah. just beautiful. Love how they are designed. And what I like the most about it is that everything matches. Even the coffee table over here has this, uh, has this top cover that has the same sort of upholstery as the chairs themselves. I think back in the time you could literally go to a furniture maker and say, I want these chairs and they would merely hand make it for you. Oh yeah. If you had the money, of course. Yeah. Here we got a newspaper from 1991 with advertisements in it. Yeah, coffee table, four chairs around it. Here we probably have the hat of Juan Torres still hanging. And this looks like this looks oh no, this looks like a female hat for a woman. Mm, no, no, you don't think just so? because he has a bow. Yeah, it looks does like... that mean that he's a Woman's because in, in Portugal also sometimes there's it's it's not even a bow it's just the ends of it a small uh, yeah could be and these ones are more bombastic I would say they are bigger they're like sofa chairs yeah this is, looks like a, a throne and uh, it, exactly like a throne and this have like a paw at the end of here also wonderful carvings at the top and then. We see it in Portugal a lot, but we also see it in Spain a lot. It's that typical kind of bench. It looks a little bit more different in Spain than in Portugal, but you can see the divisions and the seat rests over here. And this was, yeah, sort of a sort of a sofa, right? No. Sort of a, just a bench. Just a bench. Okay. No, it sits terribly. Yeah? That's like oh, springs yeah. in there. I can hear the springs, yeah. 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 No, this was definitely not for comfort. <laughs> The backrest is quite okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and above there, we got a, even more paintings hanging on the wall. I like this large one over here, this woman. Just, just, just trying to say something, I think. Wow, these are our children lying in front of her. And then this child staring, gazing at you. Quite beautiful, right? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, me too. And this... Oh, this one is still complete. Wow, it's beautiful. Curtain still hanging here. Here you, can, here you can get a glimpse of how it's supposed to look like on the other side as well. Um, the birds, the roses, oh, it's so beautiful. This is literally something you see in a very large chateau in France. But no, here you see it in uh, an ordinary mansion or an extraordinary mansion, let's say <laughs> yeah. that one. If you want to see, by the way, all the castles that we film in France, because they have all these types of furnishings, definitely click the playlist up, up here, because there are all the castles that we film. Here we got a completely identical one. We have two of the same yeah. in this room. They are a bit destroyed, yeah. like, like we said, sometimes vandals come inside, but... This one has a couple of teardrops left behind. The other one just didn't have any. So uh, you can imagine there was, used to be all these teardrops around here. And the light filling yeah. up this room. Must have been beautiful. Another sort of coffee table over to this side. <laughs> and then a piece of the cur curtain holder left here. 
Yeah, I see even some vandals came here with spray paint and stuff like that. Ah, oh, yeah. It's terrible to see. Broke this face Ooh. behind here. This used to be a quite unique piece. Completely that's, destroyed. That's terrible. That's sad. You see it behind here, Danny? Yeah. It's sort of a hidden doorway. Yeah. Right? Yeah, again, like in the French castle. Yeah. Yeah, again, like in the French castles. Yeah. See? Here's where they stored all the glasses for their big dinner parties and uh, when guests came over. Wow, looks very unfinished. Yeah, exactly. But it's probably also not for, yeah, for showing off. It's just storing no, yeah, glasses. Storage, yeah. I love that it's completely hidden away. Like the trim and everything is worked perfectly. So that you barely see it, barely. Yeah. Like you still see it, but barely. I love the bench that is behind you. Oh. Also very simple. Yeah. But I love it. It's quite unique, yes. Yeah. Again, this Portuguese uh, waving in there. You don't see it in other countries. You said these are very sturdy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's still complete, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they are sturdy, but they don't last. One ages. more thing. Look at this. The ceiling yeah. is starting to fall apart. This place has only been abandoned since. We believe 2004, 2005, but everything is already starting to fall. Oh, the plaster yeah. is falling out. And it's quite sad. <laughs> Complete marble fireplace. Wow. That's wonderful. Wow, that's, yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely love it. Okay. What a room. You can show it one more time. It's definitely worth giving another glimpse this magnificent piece. Let's go up this magnificent stairway to the second floor of this place. Probably where they slept. No, where they slept, I know this. <laughs> I just noticed this as well over here in the hallway. And it seems like this is a little lever. I have no clue what it does. Do you have any idea, Danny? I mean, that looks like a compartment of some sort. Like a hidden compartment? I mean, it's supposed to be hidden. Yeah. It's really crazy. But it has, it must have a purpose, I think. Because it also has these sort of drains in here. Maybe it's like sort of a washing bin or something. I don't in know. the middle of the hall? Stairs? I'm just making assumptions here, but it looks like it to me. If anybody has any clue what this is, I would love to know. I first thought it was a washing chute, but then I quickly withdrew my thought because I don't think it's that. And then you can look the stairway itself leading to the second floor. Ooh. I find the hallway pretty bland. Uh, if I was the owner yeah. of this house, I would have hung up like picture frames and paintings everywhere. Yeah, especially with such big walls. walls. Yeah, you want to put some character into them. You can even see that um, that there are no holes or anything where, where anything used to hang back then. So yeah, it was nothing. just like this when the people yeah. lived in here. Which is crazy. Quite crazy, yeah, for such an extravagant family. You can see even all the electricity has been added on later. They didn't carve into the walls. They just put the cables up like that. So this building was definitely pretty old. Don't know the exact age again, but pretty old. Ooh, stroller standing here in the hallway. Look at that, from one of the children that lived in here. I don't, we don't know exactly how many children these people used to have, but looking at the house, they definitely had quite some. See this first room over here? Jeez, this one is also falling oh apart. My God, oh, that's, bad. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah. That's real bad. It's the second floor, so water is probably leaking through the roof. Coming down here, you can see the plaster work is completely obliterated here. Depiction of a mother and a child. And the bed, the pink cover, all the rubble on top of there. Over here to this side, we got the drawer, the knitting box. Oh my God. Yeah, it all came from up there. This is literal decay, ladies and gentlemen. 
everything is falling and then falling on top of everything. This is years and years of that happening. Even still some pieces of clothing and shoes of the kids that used to live in this room are left behind. And what I like the most about this room, then <laughs> that's, that he, had, he or she had their own balcony overlooking their wonderful garden. This is absolutely epic. I don't know if you can see it, but back there is the, the sea or the lake. Very big lake back there. You can even see that enormous palm tree over here to this side. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. it's so big. Massive. It's, it's the, even this tree is smaller yeah, than yeah. the palm tree. <laughs> That's oh crazy, right? God. Absolutely wonderful that these children had their own balcony overlooking that. Imagine them telling that in their classroom, like, yeah, I have a view of this whole city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it must have been crazy. Danny, let's see the next room. Ooh. Oh yeah, this was Ooh. the master bedroom of the place. Look at that. Looks pretty empty now. Yeah, it's a lot of things taken out of here. I, I still know that there was like a praying chair in front of here, but this desk is still exactly like the last time. Ooh. And it has these sort of religious what is that? Latin scriptures on there. Ooh, Gloria in excess. Yeah, yeah, there's something that they used to say in church. I still remember that from my time that I went to church with my mom. Initium. Oh, these are really unique pieces. Yeah, like for a house to see those. Wow. They're absolutely beautiful. They look at like picture frames as well, but then they're actually just to display those religious texts. This is a vanity, right, that we're looking at? Or, uh, or more, more like a desk maybe, yeah. I actually don't know. Yeah. Lots of stuff inside of here. A lot of religious stuff on this side, like Religious depictions, you see Jerusalem, as you can see, all left in here, or even on top of here. And I love that they have a little bit of upholstery underneath here as well. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. protected with the glass, yeah. yeah. Maria above. The people that lived here were certainly very religious. Here attached to the room is a bathroom, a very small bathroom. Just this one was for Ooh, yeah. people that slept in this room. A very small one. And then this room also has this extension to this side with a small sitting area. Nice, uh, nice magazine on top of here. <laughs> and a waiver, a fan. Wow. Have you seen the channel here above there? Yeah. It's like completely falling apart. These pieces that we just saw lying on top of here used to attach over there. Used to be beautiful though. Whew. Another religious depiction, of course. What did you expect? No te me de su madre, pero te necesito. And what does it say? Uh, I don't deserve you, mother, but I need you. Oh. I think, I think is that. Yeah. <laughs> My Spanish is not that good. The purse of uh, Juan Torres' is, is lady, we don't know the name of. There's not much documents left in this house. Ooh, all the medical things are still left in here. Wow. Oh yeah, it smells like Yeah, it smells medical. like a medical cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, I love this, this painting that we have over there on the wall. This young lady holding her dog, dog very dearly in the forest somewhere. And then, Danny, have a look at this side of the room. I absolutely adore this about this room. It's that they have these sort of, this archway with these pillars leading to the bedroom over to that side. Isn't that just amazing? It's beautiful. Before you go in, I'm gonna show that chair over here in the corner. I don't know what its purpose was, but uh, 
Yeah. Very nice chair in the corner. Yeah, just wanted to show that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the master bedroom of the place where Juan and his wife slept together. Okay. I rem yeah, that, that's what you're going to say, but clearly we have to point out that yeah. the bed frame is gone. Like literally there was a metal bed frame around here uh, back in the time, but somebody literally took that out for yeah. some reason. I remember that the bed frame was really pristine and I think it was unique. That's why it, it got sounds, stolen. It's probably yeah. copper or something and they yeah, just they stole, stole it. But this... What's that? Like it's a cope of a priest, I think? Uh, not of a priest. I think this is like the people that help the priest or yeah. for a baptism or something. I am not it's sure. It's incredible what it is. though. Look at yeah. the detail, the gold wavings. Wow. Definitely somebody in this house had something to do with religion. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. it shows it everywhere. Yeah. All the religious depictions everywhere. It's incredible. I love these nightstands on either side as well. Come have a look at this one over here. Like literally attached to the wall. Yeah. A broken painting, a picture above there. An old medieval town. And these light fixtures above here are also quite unique. What you found on that it's, side? It's some paperwork. As you can see, I don't know what it is. I think it's a, a something touristic. A city. National yeah. de Turismo. I think that's a city in. I think Spain. This, these are old touristic uh, papers that you could get when uh, you were, were visiting a place. Oh yeah, Most it's likely. like a map or something. Old tourism, I love it. I I, I feel like how must it have been for these people oh. back in the time that were rich? to travel, because there were no tourists. Barcelona. Barcelona? You have to say it with a lisp. Barcelona. <laughs> it's not with the lisp, just with the Spanish yeah. accent. With the Spanish accent, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Wow. Look at that. Whoa. Incredible. And over here, a couple more things. It's a book study read and stuff like that. What a room again. This is definitely a beautiful bedroom. Oh yeah. Let's look on this side now. And I see already something that I saw last time as well. Ooh, but uh, nature has had its toll on it, I think. Nature? Do you think vandals did that? There's literally rocks inside oh. of here. People threw rocks from outside. That's terrible. To inside. Nature it didn't have anything to do with this. Which is very sad. This used to be such a beautiful tinted window. Oh, you see the rocks. Yeah. People Why? literally came yeah. and threw from over there into this window. Jeez. I hate it. I love this window though. And yeah. you, it still shows. It still is something special. But is this actually metal? No, it's rubber, I think. Oh yeah, it's rubber. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, oh. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. No, me neither. No, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm sorry. Jeez, this is falling I'm apart. Sorry. Yeah, last time there was only a small little hole in it, but now it's it's fallen. Damn. Yeah, the whole bathroom is full of glass shards. Glass. Yeah. This was the bathroom for the other bed other bedrooms over to either side. A couple of things left behind, like the brush and the soap and everything. Nothing too special. Which one would you like to see first, Annie? Left. Uh, your left or my left? My left. That's the same. <laughs> I had to think for a moment. <sighs> Come inside. Here we have uh, another lovely little bedroom with a I desk mean, and everything. I have to say, again, it's very blunt. It's like yeah. And it also, again, doesn't look like it used to be something else back in the time. Yeah. Maybe they just wanted to live a minimalist life and they enjoyed the outside a lot. But you go into the living room yeah, and that doesn't, doesn't match. That's, um, yeah. that's true. I, I don't understand it either. Like, yeah, it's, it's a very it's strange, strange thing. The desk, again, all of those touristic papers left here. 
I love how it opens up and you could do, leave your books in there. Yeah. It's like it's looks like it's typed on the typewriter. Yeah, it is. Sudo de pis calas. It's something. It's, it's part of a book. Yeah, it's like the index of a book. Yeah. yeah. Over here we have another sort of drawer, desk thing, shoe standing underneath there. And there's a hole inside of here, so I think it might have been something else. I don't Probably know a vanity or something, yeah. yeah. You can see from this side. Uh, uh, what? What did, what? You, what did you just... Everything okay? What's inside of here? Okay. Is it something... It's something disgusting. Okay, so trigger warning, people. What is it? Oh my gosh, Danny, there's a dead animal. Okay, I already saw it. Trigger warning, guys, there's a dead cat and I'm gonna film it now. Oh, oh wow, God. why is it in this bag? Can you take your hand out? Yeah. Try to open it up for you. Oh my God. The dead cat inside of this bag. I, this. Yeah, just put it like it was, yeah. That's terrible. You can keep watching now. Just put... That Whoa, was not. That a... scares me. That was yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was unexpected. Oh. Very unexpected, Holly. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm I'm a bit silent for a moment here. An empty uh, cabinet over here, empty closet. A lot of decay on that corner. Falling apart. But look, they also had a small balcony over there. If you call that a balcony. Yeah. <laughs> they could stand outside. <laughs> also the roof falling over here. Jeez. This house is still savable, but it needs a lot of work. Yeah. It needs a lot, a lot of work. The bed also still very beautiful. Oh, and I love this thing above the bed. Oh yeah, of course. Again, a religious depiction. Sort of a statue of two angels, right? Yeah. Beautifully wow. made. Wow. Let's have a look on this side as well. Here we have another bedroom. You can see two more beds, probably from two more children that used to live in this place. <laughs> Here the whole wallpaper is peeling off. Oh, you can even see the old... I just wanted to say it, yeah. <laughs> That's what people do. They, they don't rip off the wallpaper, they just it's plaster it over it. it. Yeah. <laughs> The bed is still made over here, still a beautiful bed as well. Over to this side, we have another bed. And here, all the papers are lying on top of it. Wow. This looks like, again, like a bunch of medical papers that are left in this place. Some, the surgos mean surgeons? Uh, no, seguros, no, it's... Uh... Surveillance is the... Ah, surveillance from the house. It's not, it's a, a surveillance mean, okay, could be insurance. It's oh, okay, so okay. Which means just that, yeah. Lovely picture of a church again. And here in this cabinet, Danny, there's a piece of clothing left behind. Ooh. One of the <laughs> first ones we see. <laughs> Normally we always have a, a closet, excuse me, full of clothing. But in this house, almost nothing yeah. left behind. So that's I mean, one. We saw in the other room, clothes on the floor. But oh yeah, there, sure. There it. But that's something that we see in this house. All the pictures are taken out. All the clothing is taken out. They've tried to clean this house before uh, they left it like this. So yeah. it's a good thing. At least thing. the pictures, yeah. Yeah, at least the pictures, yeah. yeah. The vanity as well over here. It's actually a very lovely piece as well. Let's see if there's still some perfumes or anything in here. No, no just a bunch papers. of uh, letters, letters again. Handwritten letters again. Let's close this up. Beautiful vanity though. Okay. This is the last flight of stairs. To, I presume, the attic area? You think it's the attic? I'm not sure. Whoa. <laughs> Here they had a little window looking over their garden. I cannot get over how beautiful their gardens around this house yeah. are. If they are beautiful now and overgrown, imagine back in the day. Yeah, when it was all pristinely cut by the gardeners 
and when they had such a lush place with all those fountains and everything, yeah. must have been like, that would be what I would do every single day. Walk out of this house and just take a stroll through the gardens. Yeah. yeah and it didn't need to go anywhere then. I want to start with this one again because this one has a balcony. <laughs> yeah. Small little room. Again, a room of a child, presumably. Still made, very cool. Looks like a bed for guests, though. It doesn't look nah, like... No, nah, no, nah, at all. Yeah. yeah. Looks like a bed for children, not for guests. This is... I, I wouldn't let my guests sleep here. <laughs> True. It's <laughs> like a fold-out bed, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Can very... I show first Oof. what is happening to the ceiling? Oof, that's crazy. <sighs> it's cracking up everywhere. Crazy. Got a desk over here. Papers left behind everywhere. Termites taking it over. See the balcony? Yep. Oh, yep. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Oh my god. This is one level higher than we were before. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, again, god. that's that incredible view from here. But here we can also get a look at those wooden beams that, that hold up the roof of the house. And if you look over there, if you take a small peek, you can see even the plants that are growing on top of the roof oh, we were yeah. talking about earlier. <laughs> I love that there's a children's chair out here. Yeah. <laughs> so that definitely tells that this was a children's bedroom. Yeah, you're yeah. right, Danny. And also another chair. It's a lovely place to have a coffee in the morning. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. I guess there are even, yeah, there are more bedrooms up here. More? Yeah, there are way more bedrooms if I can remember it right. S see this one? Yeah, look oh, at yeah. this. Three more beds up here. I don't know why there were so many bedrooms. Maybe the family was this big, but... Or some sometimes the rich people back in the day, it's just an assumption, but they would take like orphans and stuff into their houses, so... You think so? Yeah, back in the day when the orphanage was full, sometimes rich people just took care of them oh. for for amount of money, of course. Yeah, of course, of course, I but understand. I'm j this is just an, an assumption. Yeah. I am. I I'm no not sure idea. about that fact though, but it sounds very interesting to me. I have, I have to do a bit more research about it. I just told that there was one piece of clothing, but over here, everywhere there is clothing, lying over there on top of top of that table. The whole cabin is completely filled. And little it looks like yeah. children's clothing. Yeah, yeah little kids clothing. Yeah. Wow. You can even maybe have a look in there. That room back there. Looks like a storage. No. Nope. Oh, another bedroom. My God. And this one is completely littered with papers. Oh, I love this paper that's lying here on the bed. I love how it's written. Very precise. Love the cursivity. Is that a word? Cursivity? I don't think that's <laughs> a cursivity. I just made up a word while doing yeah. this. Here you can see a hole in the roof. You can see the roof tiles from here. And oh, also the yeah. window. The window standing Completely open. broken. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh my god, stacks of paperwork. Probably all documents from Juan Torres, uh, his business and yeah. medical documents and stuff like that. Littered over the floor, everybody. Yeah. One more side over here. They even have an attic. Somebody tried to go up these stairs. Uh, not gonna do it, it's probably nothing. <laughs> yeah, probably empty. Which one first? You choose. I mean, yeah. I'm already going down here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, even more bedrooms up here. What did you expect there? All... I think all the children used to sleep up here. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> and already, again, the DK. Yeah. This this looks like a typical children's bedroom with all these magazines on top of here. Like a girl's bedroom, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. It's famous uh, famous actors and stuff like that. Wow, what a small room. Yeah, very small. I think this was the bathroom here to the right, the left. Yes, yeah. nothing much to show. Just the bathroom. Mm -hmm. bathroom. And then over here we have one more Ooh. bedroom with two more beds. I love this bed. Wow. 
this one is one of the most beautiful ones of the house. This is the most beautiful one of the house. Yeah. Before that other one got stolen. Stolen, yeah. <laughs> Lovely carvings in there. But you can see, Danny, termites are working on it. Yeah. Jeez. And this one is... Oh, look at that. Again, we see the insides of the mattress, cork. Oh no, it's from the pillow. Oh, a pillow. The pillow is filled with cork, Danny. Wow. Jeez. That's what they used to do back in the time. They just used the materials they had on hand. And because Portugal and Spain have a lot of cork, Portugal, for example, is the biggest producer here. Uh, they used cork to fill their pillows, mm -hmm. mattresses, unlike France, where it's mostly straw, and other countries that have different materials. And here we have children's toys everywhere. Yeah, in the baby crib. <laughs> yeah, crazy. And a lot of DK also. Yeah. DK is very present. It's sad. Come outside everybody, come enjoy this view for one last time with me of these beautiful gardens. Danny, I'm so happy that we came back here and made a new episode about this place. Sometimes we do this and it's just great to get another view of the places that you filmed before. Thank you for coming with me. You're welcome. Thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, like the video, subscribe to the channel and write a nice comment. Also, there's a link in the description for Patreon and a link for Danny, his channel, where you can check out his stuff. Thank you. With that all said, I'm gonna take off my glove and blow you a nice kiss. Bye. See you next week in another episode. Bye-bye.